Tracy from Craft Warehouse, and today I have my special guest, Ethan. Ethan, and um, together we are going to make slime today. It's going to be really fun. So we're going to actually make two slimes today. We're going to make a fluffy slime with um, stuff we have around our house, and then we're going to make a clear slime um, and add some glitter to it. We have an amazing new line at Craft Warehouse called the Glitter Guys, if you haven't heard, and they make beautiful. Um, sparkly glitter. So we're going to add that to some clear slime and make glitter slime. So we're going to start with the fluffy slime. Um, in lieu of 4th of July coming up, we're going to make some red and white and blue. And to color them, we're just going to use some food coloring I had. And then to make fluffy slime, you either need shaving cream or lotion. And I think we're going to use shaving cream today, but either or whatever you have around your house will work. And we're also going to use um, white glue for this project. And we also have some borax, which I pre-mixed. I did a cup of warm water to one teaspoon of borax. Get that all dissolved and that'll be our activator. All right, let's get making. All right, so we're gonna start our fluffy slime and Ethan is gonna add a half a cup of the white glue. Um, so go ahead and fill that up with some glue. Well, here, we can take the top off so you... We'll just do it fast. I'm not sure how much glue is in one container. Actually, it looks like one thing of Elmer's is about a half a cup, so that actually is perfect. So why don't you hold that and keep okay. getting that out, and we'll put this in there. We just got a spatula here so we can get all the glue out. Okay. And then we need three cups, and it sounds like an awful lot. We need three cups of shaving cream. So you want to give that a good shake. I'm going to take the lid off. It's going to take a little bit. Just here. It's not going to twist you. Okay, so fill that up and stick it in there. Like in there? Nope, we need to do three cups. So you want to fill the cup up. Hold it, add in. There you go. Okay, so there's one. That's one a little day. less than one. We'll we'll make the next one a little bit more. Fill it all the way up. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. You need some here, a little bit more. Okay. All right, two. Holy cow, that's a lot. Holy cow, that is a lot. Okay. A little bit more? Mm, okay. okay. All right. All right, this is our third one. So we're gonna get that in there. We're gonna keep this one, the white one. We're gonna do that first so we don't get our um, bowl colored with the red and blue mixture. So then we just give this a quick stir. You can use your hands, or again, I'm just using the spatula, and I'm gonna give the spatula to Ethan, so you keep mixing it, and I'm gonna slowly, the trick is slowly add some of the borax, and that's gonna activate the slime and start making it slimy. Okay, get really down in there. You wanna go slowly, because you just, um, you can't take away borax, but you can always add more, right? Yep. So if you put too much solution in, it's gonna become kind of brittle and it's not gonna be um, what we are looking for as far as the slime here. Let me give that one quick good stir. I'm gonna really get in there. Like you're making cookies. Yeah, it's really coming together. It's getting that nice tension. I might have Ethan just get his hands in there now. Pull your sleeves up, kiddo. All right. Just dive right in there. I feel like marshmallows. <laughs> marshmallows. You need a little more stuff in there? I'm gonna add. I'm not sure. Let's give it a little bit more. All right, get on in there. And I'm just adding a teaspoon of the borax solution every time we go. And the more he mix, the less sticky it's gonna get. All right, we got our white fluffy slime made. It came out fantastic. I've never used so much shaving cream and it is 
eat them with sand, it feels like a marshmallow. It really does. It's a really fun um, textured slime. So yep. now we're gonna make our blue and our red. We're gonna make them separately and then we're gonna mix them together. We're gonna add the blue food coloring. So I'm gonna have Ethan just um, maybe do six-ish drops and you're just gonna add as much as the blue you want to achieve. So I would just do a few drops and then give it a stir. If you want it darker, add more. If you're good with that color, you're done. I'm gonna, I prefer it darker. Okay, let's give it a stir and see what it does. Ooh, oh, that's so X. pretty. All right, we got our red, white, and blue slime made. It was amazing. It came together really quick. And again, I love this fluff recipe because it is so fluffy. It's really a fun, fun sensory thing. So Ethan is going to now mix these colors and um, have some fun with it. So yeah. dig on in there, sir. All right. So I think if I remember, you want me helping you get them up? Or are you just going to do it? Yeah, I think I've got this. Don't okay. Stretch it out so people can see how fantastic that slime is. Nice and stretchy. America. America, yes. Fourth of July awesomeness. This would be a great thing to do. If you're having a Fourth of July party. The kids would love it. Yeah. Whoa. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Yep. We had fun making it. So I hope you guys do too. Bye. All right, we're back. We are going to make our clear glue slime and we are going to add some awesome glitter. So we have, I chose either a Kevin, which is this beautiful iridescent chunky glitter. There's a mirror mirror, which is a beautiful, it's a little bit, um, not as chunky and silver with iridescence or this Sully that I thought would be pretty in there too. So which one do you want to pick, Ethan? Kevin. All right, so Ethan says Kevin. So we're gonna make the clear glue and then we're gonna add some of the um, glitter and we will show you our results. I wanted to also bring up, if you have a child who's a little bit sensitive, their skin's a little bit sensitive, you might wanna use a, a borax um, substitute. And so we do carry at Craft Warehouse this magic liquid from Elmer's and this will have the same effect as your activator for your slime. Um, and then I also wanted to show another fun thing we have at Craft Warehouse. We actually have glow in the dark um, glues, which would be an also a fun effect um, doing this. And you could make this and add the glitter too. That would be kind of fun. So this recipe is gonna call for um, a cup of the clear glue. So that would be two whole bottles. So Ethan will get those pouring in there for me. And then we're also going to add, which is kind of a different thing, is one cup of water to this as well. So um, we'll get this and then Ethan will get a cup of water to pour in there. Okay, that's kind of it. And with clear glue, you kind of, when you first make it, you might be like, oh, that doesn't look very clear. When you're mixing this all up, you're gonna get air bubbles in your glue. So clear glue, slime, I usually let it sit overnight and then you're gonna have that really clear appearance to it. So go ahead and add that in there and then give it a good stir with your spatula. Spatula. And then we will start adding the activator. Right, does it feel like it's coming together? Yeah. Does it lift? Nope, yep. keep mixing. Since we got more glue in this than the fluffy, it's going to take a little bit more activator than we used before. Again, you want to do it really slowly because you can't take the activator away. And if you add too much, it's just going to, it's not going to be that slimy slime that flows. It's going to be brittle and um, not really fun to play with. Okay, so we finally got our glue to come together. That took a little bit longer than I thought. So you definitely need much more activator in this recipe than we did for the fluffy slime. So 
um, Ethan is mixing away and kind of slow down really fast. As I told you, the clear glue, you're gonna get bubbles in there, so it looks really white. So we're gonna actually mix this and let it set for a little bit, and then we'll come back and add the glitter to it and show you guys the beautiful effects it'll create. So um, I just wanted to show you where we were in this process. He's gonna keep going. We'll probably add a little bit more activator, but at this at this stage, you definitely wanna go slow with the activator because this is where you can easily over add um, and make it not slime fun. All right, we'll show you, we'll come back when it's a little bit clearer and we can add the glitter. Okay, everyone, here we are the next day. Our slime is definitely clearer than it was yesterday. So Ethan is gonna add our, um, the glitter guys, the Kevin. Kevin. Oh, oh, my bad. <laughs> That's okay, put it in the bowl. Oh, I mean, not oh, the whole geez. thing. Oh, Whoa, geez. we are gonna have a glittery slime. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and start mixing it up. Holy guacamole, that's gonna be some shimmering awesomeness. Yes. <laughs> Whoa, yo, look at it. It's like turning, it's, it's like turning blackish. <laughs> okay, keep it over the bowl until you get it all mixed in. It's gonna be kind of messy to start, but once you get it mixed in, it yeah. should work pretty good. Whoa. Yo, this is nuts. Hey guys, well, I hope you enjoyed our two different slimes. I love this one. It's so glittery and pretty. Hope you guys can really see how glittery that is. Ethan, which was your favorite, the fluffy or the glitter? The glitter, definitely. Well, you heard it from the, the professional. He likes the glitter, but the fluffy was really fluffy too. So I hope this inspired you guys to make some slime. Come down to Craft Warehouse and check out all the supplies we have. And um, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.